This training video is an introduction to the Pixel Plane Editor in HLS that I'll be releasing very soon. Um, this is a sequence that I started. I want to show you the power of a pixel plane and what you're going to be able to do within that pixel plane. Um, if we come up here to manage channels, you're going to see that I have a pixel plane here. Okay, I can click on this pixel plane and it'll open it up. And I have, I believe, I have 50 strings of 64 pixels per string. That's probably bigger than most of you are going to use. I was kind of doing a boundary test to make sure that uh, getting up towards the upper limit's okay. So, I have, I don't know how many channels that is, whatever, 50 times 64, that's how many RGB channels there are. And they're all represented on this single line. This is called a pixel plane. Now, there'll be something new with pixel plane. Just to let you see, there's a manage pixel plane. I'll show you what this one is. I've assigned this pixel plane is going to be a mega tree. And this mega tree, if it's, uh, you can choose to only use 180 degrees, 270, 240. You can choose to use whatever angular amount of the tree you like. But I need to know what a full tree looks like to be able to allocate resources and to do the uh, simulation of it. This particular tree, I said, is going to have 50 vertical elements. That's 50 strings going up. Now, you may use 100 pixel strings and take them up and bring them back down. I'm looking for just a one shot going up. So I've got 50 of these going up. And on each of these strings going up, there's 64 pixels. <clears throat> so that's my pixel plane, and it is now defined. I've already placed a, an example of a pixel plane uh, effect right here. I'm going to place another one right here. I hold the cursor. Let's put it right at one and a half seconds. I hold the cursor. I right click. And I come down and it says add HLS custom pixel plane effect. And when I do this, if you notice the main grid disappears, I'm now in a pixel plane editor. And in this mode... This is the channel. This is that pixel plane channel. The blues are previously assigned effects, and the green is the effect we're working on. Now, in this mode, you'll be able to reposition this, and you'll be able to make it as big as you want. When you brought it up, I just arbitrarily made it a half a second. But you'll be able to stretch this thing out to all that you want. This over here is effectively the simulation effect for the tree. What it is, is you're going to decide exactly how the effect is constructed and then we'll generate it. Once it's generated, you'll be able to play it with music here, you'll be able to do some additional things to be able to lock it in step with, the, with an, a beat track. I'll be displaying a beat track up here. Give you an idea, here's some of the things. Um, I give you six color channels. Um, each one, there's a number of bars here. If there's one bar, it takes the first one. If there's a second bar, it takes the second one. Well, let's just go up and we'll pick the top row are solid colors. So red, green, blue, we'll pick three here at first. And let's go ahead and start the animation. So the animation and rotation is fairly fast right there. Let's bring the bar down to 1 so you can see. I can change the width of a bar. I can change the spiral spacing. That means how much wrap does it have. So there, I can turn around and shrink that bar up. Shrink the spacing up, make the bar bigger. Now, if I turn around, let's make it two bars. Now, this one will pick up the green bar. So then we'll have a red bar and we'll have a green bar. 
And again, I'll be able to play with the bars here. Play with the spacing. The red ones are solid channels. The next sets underneath are what I call... Let's pick one here. I'll show you. When you pick on this, this is a brand new color shift feature with an HLS. I give you a continuous angular color ring. When you click on a color for start and then for end, you can tell me to go clockwise from the start color to the end color or counterclockwise. I happen to pick the same color, so it's going to go 360 degrees around. We'll say OK. Let's just pick both of these. Now, what this is, this is a complete 360 degree shift from red, from green, from blue. Moving this will kick it into place. Oh, no it won't. I have to stop the animation. Now I'll start it. There we go. Let's go down number of bars. You can see here's the first one. You're shifting from red all the way through the color spectrum from red. Increases the bars. Let's add another bar. This will be a color shift all the way from the green spectrum. There's a green shift. We can shrink the number of bars down. We've increased the number of bars. So, this is just kind of a different spiral. Now, the, in, the intent here is that you'll be able to decide by using this animation how you want it to look. Then when we generate it, we'll actually lock it down into channels at which time you'll be able to come up here and hit play and the music will play and you'll see a, the exact uh, configuration on the tree that you'll expect to see on your lights. You'll also be able to single step it because as we get into certain things, as I said, there'll be beat tracks up here. When you have a beat track, you'll be able to turn around and right at a beat, I'll have a capability where you'll be able to turn everything. You flash it white real quick so the, the whole tree will kind of just kind of blink at you right at the beat of the music to give you, to help you get these high level uh, pixel effects, but different ways to be able to inter to synchronize them with your music. Um, that's about it. I just wanted to let all of you take a look at it, see what's coming, uh, start having you think of what other kind of effects you would like to see. Right now, I'm looking at spirals, vertical bars, horizontal bars. These are just in the spirals. Uh, this will be a mega tree. Uh, there'll be a similar uh, design pattern for a matrix. Uh, you'll be able to put text. Oh yeah, I'll have to look at putting text across this mega tree too. On the matrix, there'll be text. There'll be, uh, you'll be able to put a video across it. Uh, I'm looking at roof line. Uh, I'm also looking at uh, things like windows. There may be something particular with windows as it wraps around some of the things you want to do. So it gives you an idea of where HLS is going as far as pixel plane editing, where it stands right now. Um, when I release version 12A, you'll be able to get your hands on this and start playing. I'm a couple more days from release, but I wanted to give you an idea of where I'm going to start getting feedback. I want to know what kind of effects you're looking for for a pixel plane type of effect, whether it's in a mega tree, whether it's on a uh, matrix, whether a vertical matrix, a horizontal matrix, <clears throat> or whether it's just a line of pixels like a roof line. I want your feedback so I can sit back and kind of see where my priorities want to go. I hope you enjoy what you've seen so far and have a nice day.